going to calibrate the reverse acting side of this unit, or probably the cooling side, I would then have to go and switch my air pressures back into my mechanical room, so I put 20 PSI coming into this unit. At 20 PSI, the direct acting screw is out of the picture, and the air signal comes up and is being controlled by this bleed port, but the reverse acting screw, which is right down here, I have to calibrate that the same way, all right, and I would follow the same procedure. So I think what we'll do is we'll turn our supply pressure to 20 pounds. We now have 20 pounds of supply pressure coming into this stat, and our pressure went up to about nine pounds right now. Uh, this is my calibration screw now, the, the screw that's just below the uh, direct acting screw. This is reverse acting. So I'm going to turn this, trying to back off. clockwise to decrease the pressure. When you change the reverse action, your pressure will go up on the stat. You have to turn it clockwise quite a, quite a number of times, and my pressure is dropping down now. My calibration pressure is still going to be the midspring of this actuator. I don't know if you can see that actuator moving up and down. It's dropping down. So I have to stop it and increase it a little bit. Now it's going back up slowly. I want to get it back up. My calibration pressure is still going to be 7.5 pounds. That hasn't changed because I'm still running the same actuator, aren't I? So let's take our pressure back up, and it comes up very slowly. Drops off quite rapidly. Well, not too fast. I'm going to try to stop it there. I just stopped it right at that 7.5 pounds. You're going to develop a very light touch. Now it's slowly creeping up, like it did before. So I'm going to have to back it off just a little bit more. You can hear it bleeding. I, I, you can't on the, on the video, but I can. So I'm going to try to stop it at that seven and a half pound. Well, that's my screwdriver came. I have to develop a very light touch with this thing. That's not too shabby. That's not too bad. All right. Now, whatever the temperature is, we're going to do it the exact same way that we did the thermostat or the direct acting side. We'll put the cover back on. Mount the screw at, now remember something, now each increment on this, this wheel or the set point dial is one degree. So if it's 78, it's too warm, I set it at 78. Now ultimately my set point is going to be 72, isn't it? Or whatever you want. So assuming 72, I'm going to say, all right, it's warmer in there again. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. I just want to say it was 78. 172, five, six degrees warmer than what my set point's going to be. And I will mount the cap that way, put it back on with this cover on in place, and setting this, it'll be warmer, warmer than what my set point dial is going to look something like this. And I will then turn it to whatever I want for set point. When I turn it down to 72, I'll change the temperature. And that's pretty much it. There's nothing else to do on this, this thermostat. To, to adjust it. It's been around for a lot of years. They've modified it some. Uh, it's a pretty touchy stat to make adjustments on, but that's what you have to do to make it work. If you need to control it or measure it, Stromquist and Company has a control solution for you. With over $2 million of inventory between our Georgia and Florida locations, an easy-to-use online ordering platform, same-day shipping, and a factory-trained team of controls experts to answer your questions, Strong Pussy Company continues in its tradition of offering great service and great products.